Hi guys, welcome back to a new video tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to send emails in Node.js in basically three simple steps. And I want to thank to today's sponsor, Kai. Kai is an AI powering coding assistant where it helps you code a lot faster and smarter. You can find the link in this video description where it will take you to download the software for completely free today. And without further ado, let's now get back into the tutorial. All right, so to be able to send emails in Node.js, we will be using this Node Mailer, the library where you can see the number of downloads weekly, which is quite popular. And here you can see that it says, uh, send emails from Node.js, uh, easy as cake. And uh, we will go in detail. Now let's just get into the coding part. All right, so what you guys can see right here, this is the application that I built in one of the tutorial on how to deploy Node.js for completely free. Um, you guys can check that out, how to build this application. It's very simple. Anyways, uh, let's now continue uh, on this tutorial on how to uh, send an email using Node.js. Okay, so now let me just uh, try to comment this uh, out uh, because it is not required. And you can also delete this file as well. And right here, what I need to do now, I need to go to the new terminal. And down here, let me try to install a node package called node mailer where we can just use the library to send an email very easily. Okay, so now to install, just run mpni node mailer. Okay, so now it's installed. We can also check it in the package.json here as well. So this is right here. Okay, so I need to declare. Let me also try to comment this one. It's not needed. So we just need to call node mailer equal to Note Mailer right here. Okay, so once we have that down here, we need to define the transporter. Note Mailer dot create transport. And here we need to define the object inside where the first one is the uh, service put it like this for now and also we need another one which is the off so inside we have user uh, stand for the username and pass stand for the password okay so now we have a uh, declare or define the uh, transporter next we want to go with the mail options okay so just define mail option Okay, and inside we need to declare from where is it coming from and the other one is to where the email is sent to. Uh, we also have the subject of the email as well as the text here. This is whatever that is inside the body of the email. All right. So the next one, basically we have um, done the first and the second step. So here it come to the final step. So right now we call the transporter. Okay. So here this is the transporter. Dot send mail. And it take two parameters. The first one is the mail option where we just define it right here. And another one just use the callback function error or success so if there's an error to console this else we're going to say email send successfully or email is sent okay so uh, that's pretty much all right so now let's just take a look again so what we have done so far basically I declared the node mailer and here we use the uh, 
uh, create transport where the service we can just put like the uh, Gmail and the off uh, including the username and password right here the username here we can just put the uh, email that we try to send the email from this to another email so what I need to use uh, let me just use Hongli tag at gmail.com uh, where I put first back then because um, in Cambodia so usually the last name we just put it in front of the uh, first name that's a reason why you can see I put it like lihong.tech okay so anyway let's just come back uh, the password right here password of the uh, this gmail is um, testing123 with the symbol and the next one here is the uh, mail option uh, where it's coming from so basically it's coming from this email and where I'm going to send this one to it's only tutorial at gmail.com subject testing text uh, probably say first email send from node.js using node mailer like that so this is what inside the body of the email and um, I think that's pretty much good to go let now just save this and come here again now I need to run this application so node index.js and right here we can see that we got an error saying like uh, self sign certificate in the certificate change and stuff so this is the error that we get okay so what you can see right here this is basically or uh, most likely a uh, cost by the express so what I need to do I need to define uh, right here underneath the off uh, there's an option where we can just use TLS and inside this let's just call reject unauthorize okay let's just set this one to false and now let's just try it again okay I'm going to press ctrl C on my keyboard and run this one again okay so now we see can see that we have another issue which says invalid login uh, it is not accepted so what does this uh, error mean so basically in the gmail we need to turn off a function so now let me just quickly search for that on the uh, browser all right guys so when you go to google you can quickly search for uh, gmail less secure app or right here this is the url and i will also put this uh, in the video description as well so now let's just click on this one okay so if you have multiple emails uh, first you have to choose the one that you want to turn the uh, secure apps off then once you sign in with this email address then you can see this screen right here uh, this is the less secure access uh, the allow secure uh, less secure apps it turned off by default and what we need to do we just need to click to turn it on and that's pretty much good to go so now let's just go back to the application and try to run this one again Control c node index.js and here it listening on port 3000 and right here we can see that there's a success message saying the email sent successfully which is coming from uh, this console log right here okay so now let's just uh, go back to the email and check whether we receive it or not uh, let me check using this uh, email address hongli tutorial at gmail.com all right guys so here you can see that i successfully received an email so now let's see right here this is inside the body uh, first email sent from node.js using node mailer so this is the email that i get from let now just check this one as well so here to this and this is the date with the subject and it the security it's tls uh, with the uh, subject right here saying us testing okay so that's uh pretty much how we send an email with the 
uh, Node.js. Now let me just quickly show you another one. So right here we are using the if else condition. There's another option that we can just use. We can just use the uh, promises. Okay, so this is another one. Let me quickly see the response here as well. And then um, just saying this is the second email sent from Node.js using Node.Mailer. Save it. Run this one again. Okay, listening on port 3000. And here it is. So we can see that this is the response that we get uh, from message. And there's a lot more information right here. And here, this is the email sent. Okay, so let me just quickly check that. And here it is, guys. Uh, this is another email that is sent. All right, so this is just the bonus part. Uh, what I'm going to show you right here. Let's say right here, you can see that the username, this is uh, the email and the password. You can see that it is very clearly shown to everyone uh, with the password here. So there's an option that you can try to uh, hide this or try not to uh, show this to everyone who can just uh, see this and try to sign in using your uh, Gmail account. Then right here, this is another uh, library called .env where you can just uh, try to put everything, all of your password and uh, Gmail, just put in the .env file and you can just call it like this uh, process.env dot say password or the uh, gmail uh, you can also do that as well so this is um, the way that you can secure your password and also there's uh, one more thing i want to mention which is the uh, smtp uh, transport right here in the uh, node mailer say if you have your own uh, business email then um, you want to also use the same thing uh, then you would normally use the SMTP rather than just like uh, what I show you using the service as uh, the Gmail. The, uh, right here, you can what you can do. Um, let me just scroll down. You can just define your host. Uh, whether uh, it depend on your uh, hosting uh, email server, then you can just define it here uh, as well as define the port and whether it's, you want it to be uh, secure or not then uh, this is what you can uh, do uh, using this uh, node mailer as well with the uh, SMTP. And there's a lot of information here as well, uh, like how we're going to use like this usage. Uh, this is the email, which is nodemailer.com, the official website. And here you can find some more information. And um, I think that's pretty much uh, everything that I have covered today. Uh, how you can just send an email using uh, NodeMailer in the Node.js. And let me know if you have any question. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to hit a like as well and share it to your friends. And see you guys in the next video.